Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to save an inspect element and also how to inspect element, uh, just in case you didn't know. Um, so the first step to inspect element is you just need to right click and you can go down here to inspect. You can also use control shift I. Now, for some reason you don't have right click available. You can also go up to here, uh, the three dots up here, go to more tools and you'll see developer tools. That's the same as inspect elements. Um, they've just changed the name over the time. Now I just inspect. Now, if you want to select something in particular, this particular element, uh, you want to go and click uh, this button over here or do control shift C and then you can click around. Uh, it's pretty easy. Just go and click whatever you want and it will find the HTML uh, element down here. Now, if this is your first time using uh, this feature, you'll find that the dock will be on this side. It'll be like here. If you want to change it, you just go up to these three dots and you just go down and change the dock. I like it at the bottom. Um, some people like it uh, separate to the side. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. Anyways, this is your HTML over here. This is how websites are coded. Um, I'm just going to make a change so we can save it. Um, I'll just make a basic change so you can see that you can do it. Uh, just go in here, uh, double click, uh, click backspace. We'll replace it with France. Then once you click enter, it'll save it. There you go. It's France. Now, I really want to build like an aesthetically pleasing uh, Chrome. So we'll just do backspace. We'll remove these. You can just go around clicking and removing. Um, so I'm just going to remove all of these little elements. So now that you've removed what you want to remove, you've got this very, very clean looking interface. Um, kind of, I would say, similar to the original Google one, except that it probably it wasn't really that clean. It was kind of old uh, looking. Anyways. Now you want to know how to save all of these changes you've just made. Um, now you can obviously do this to any website. Um, I just want to make sure it's not inspect elements on Chrome and you can only use it on Google. You can use it on any website you want. And it's only a local change. It's not actually changing the website. Just a heads up for anyone. Now you just want to go up to these three dots and go to more tools and save page as control S by the way. Now, once you've done that, you'll have three options. You can either do HTML only. I don't recommend that. You'll lose the assets. The assets are the images and kind of the search things. So it won't look, you won't have the actual web page. Um, single file, not exactly sure how that works. Um, I'd have to test that out, so I can't really tell you about it. But complete, I know that works. So complete, what it does is it saves a HTML document, uh, which contains the CSS and the HTML for the website. All together, I think it might contain JavaScript as well. Uh, not sure about that. Uh, don't quote me. Uh, it also will save um, a folder uh, with it and that folder will contain the assets. So the assets being this image over here. Um, and I believe that might be an asset. I don't know. Um, anyway, so we'll just open this up. As you can see here, it opens up. Now, straight away, you can tell we have an issue. We have this is not saving. Um, well, not showing up. So just right click, inspect it. Uh, if you ever have any issues with this, Google normally is pretty good at connecting it. As you can see here, the source, that's this image. Um, it is connected actually. So dot, you know, this is, this is where it is on my computer. Um, I can show you that's the folder. It's in the desktop. That's what it's connected to. Um, you can even open up the image inside of it. We'll open it up real quick. As you can see here, the image is saved right there. All right. Now we, the re the reason why this is happening, you've got an overriding file over here, this um, source set file. So what you're going to do is actually, uh, do, we're going to inspect, um, we're going to edit as HTML. Now we want to remove this. We want to keep all the rest of the stuff, the width stuff, the data stuff. It's all, you know, we need that. Well, you don't need it, but you know, this is what you want to remove. This is what's messing with things. Okay. So you just copy all the stuff that's messing with it. So now if I remove this, you'll notice that it should all work. Now, if you go to try and save this, you'll get issues, it'll overwrite and do all kind of weird stuff. You don't want that to happen, right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna go um, minimize this, you're gonna go to your Chrome, which should be somewhere. I don't know what mine has gone. Um, we'll just go into downloads, it's fine. As you can see here, show in folder. Um, okay, that's where it is. Awesome. So you just want to right click and you want to open with notepad. If it's not appearing, 
Uh, Notepad, by the way, is the default. It's on every Windows 10 computer, uh, Windows 7 as well, and I think Windows 8.1 as well. Um, so you want to choose another app. You want to scroll down, and you just want to find Notepad. So you know you probably have to click more apps, but it's fine. I also have VS Code on this computer as well. I recommend VS Code. It's a better editor. It'll make it easier for you. Anyways, so now that we've done that, we'll just close this and we'll just close that. We'll make this full screen. Now that you've got this, um, you can see it's horribly formatted. So you're not gonna be able to find anything. You're going to have wanted to copy that link. If I didn't make that clear before, you're going to have copied what you changed. So that text you removed, you need to have copied that. Now you're gonna do control F. If you're doing multiple changes, I recommend creating a notepad um, page or some page, maybe Word document, where you've just pasted everything that you've removed or everything that you've added um, and all the locations and such. So you're gonna go here and you're gonna do control B. By the way, to open this, it's just control F. That's how you open um, find. Now you're just gonna click find next. Now easily, it's easily found this. Um, I think there might be a cap. Maybe there is, uh, that's not great, whatever, it's fine. Um, so now you're just going to remove it. So you can also do control R, that's another thing. Um, I believe it's a thing, uh, control R, nope. Uh, you can do, uh, I believe, might be up here. Yeah, it's replace, fine, there you go, replace. So, um, yeah, it's easily, you just paste it in there. So, find next, there you go, found it. So now, we just wanna replace it with nothing. So we'll just replace it, done. So now once you've made all these changes, go to file, just click save, there you go. Close it, close that, and we'll go into Chrome. Now if I refresh this, all of the saves that I, all of the things that I had will be saved. So you have the images, it'll all work. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, there'll be more content coming along, I'll uh, try and see if I can set it up so that when you search here, you get the same features as if you were searching on the website, so it's a really clean aesthetic and you get all the features as well. Um, you can obviously change the background, that's not too hard, you know, you can just go in here and you can change the colours, it's fine. I can make a video if people want to know that. Um, so yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.